Before the new Knights charge onto the field, they're on the line with us. Meet the new players that will wear the black and gold in this week's Recruit Spotlight. All right, I'm talking with our newest quarterback commit, Mackenzie Milton from Hawaii. It's a long ways away, but the palm trees and everything should be pretty normal to him. <laughs> He's committed to go to the UCF uh, Knights. Knight Nation is excited to have you. First of all, did you choose UCF or did UCF choose you? That's the question. I think uh, I think it's a little bit of both. I mean, Coach Ross was interested in me while he was at Oregon, and then when he got the job, he offered me a scholarship. And then uh, when I came down there, I just I just kind of fell in love with it. And so I think it's a little bit of both. So what do you know about UCF besides what Coach Frost has told you? I know that they play pretty good football. I know that we won the Fiesta Bowl a couple years ago with Blake Bortles and, that, and them guys. And I know that they have some nice weather, and that's about it. What did you think of the campus? Oh, it was beautiful. I mean, that was a big part of why I um, decided to, to commit there. I mean, the campus is beautiful. It's just basically in a big circle, and it seems like a really good college life, and I look forward to it. Normally, we don't talk to guys that have committed. We talk to them after National Signing Day, but I thought that I really wanted to talk to you and, and get a feel for you and all that stuff. So are you completely 100% with Signing Day just being a couple days away, really, a couple, like a week away? Are you 100% committed to UCF? Yes, I'm 100%. I'm not taking any more visits to schools or talking to any other coaches. So, yeah, I'm 100% set on Central Florida. Awesome. We're excited, man. We we need a guy like you. I've watched your film. You seem like a guy that can throw the ball extremely well and can run around extremely well. Describe your style of play. I think just a quarterback that can uh, distribute the ball to his playmakers and, and when he needs to just uh, make a ad lib plays with his feet, and, and I'm able to do that as well. So I guess just a dual threat quarterback is what I would say. Okay, that's cool. But a pass first guy, too, a pass first guy. What did Coach Frost tell you about the offense that he wanted to run? Pretty much exactly what Oregon uh, likes to run. But, uh, I mean, of course, like, it's a new system for all the guys, so it's going to take a little uh, little uh, while to learn it for everybody, including myself. It's going to be a learning curve there because I think they came from a pro-style offense. But, I mean, there's going to be so much athletes around us to make plays, so it's going to be a lot similar to what Oregon does, what he was saying. Did you see at all what happened at UCF last year? I mean, you probably weren't pay- paying attention to UCF just because, you know, they weren't really on your radar until he got hired here. So... You know, obviously it was 0-12. It was just a bad year. Yeah. You know, a coaching change, all that stuff. Does that worry in any way, or do you think that uh, Coach Frost is going to be able to turn that around? I think Coach Frost will be able to turn it around. I mean, you can already tell that there's just an aura around all the guys down there in you know, Florida that they're really excited to have them, and they just want to win. So, I mean, any college kid just wants to win, so it's going to be great. Did they talk to you about maybe playing early or a redshirt year, or, or did they have anything to oh. say? about I mean, that they said i could come in and compete with uh with justin but i mean obviously that's going to be tough so depending on whether or not what happens in the off season whether i can play or not then we'll, we'll go from there definitely gotta um build up some strength and speed just because uh, at the next level is bigger faster stronger guys so i get ready for that did you meet any of the other quarterbacks while you were here on your visit yeah my uh, host was justin holman the starter so I got to meet him. He's a really cool guy. Justin will be a senior, so, you know, it would only be, you know, one year there if if Justin can play in this offense. We're not sure of that either. You look like the guy that that can come in and play this offense, so I think that that's exciting. Coming from Hawaii, tell us a little bit about how Marcus Mariota is a big deal there. Uh, I mean, uh, he's definitely the face of our entire state. I mean, anywhere you go, you'll see a Marcus Mariota shirt or jersey. So, I mean, he's, he's, the, he's a rock star down here for sure. I mean, he's, he uh, basically put Hawaii on the map by winning the Heisman Trophy, and he had a pretty good rookie season too. So, yeah, he's making all, all of us proud down here. Definitely a guy that most uh, local kids down here look up to. Also, tell us about how you wound up in Hawaii. Were you born there? What A lot of people that live there, kind of like Florida, you know, aren't native to Hawaii. That A lot of people aren't native to Florida yeah. either. They come from other places. So I, that was just something that, that I'm interested in. Yeah, my uh, my parents moved here 26 years ago and started their own business. And uh, me, I have uh, three older brothers, and we we're all born and raised here. So yeah, this is this is home for me, and it's pretty hard to leave, but I'm excited about the next chapter. 
at least you're going to another place that's warm and has palm trees and yeah, all that stuff. Exactly. So yeah, exactly. that can be um, nice for you. Back to you as a player, what would your teammates say about you? I mean, just a guy that they can rely on and, and uh, help lead by example on and off the field and just uh, just a guy they can look to like in a in a situation for to make a play or, or just help lead them and stuff like that, I guess. Try try not to be egotistic. I mean, no one, no one likes a, a teammate that's uh, full of themselves. So. That's absolutely no true. Try to be that guy. A lot of the diehard football fans, the diehard UCF sports fans, listen to this show. What would you like to say to them? Thank you for all the support so far, and I uh, look forward to being a knight and uh, making you guys proud. Thank you, guys. And uh, where can the fans follow you on social media? On Twitter, it'll be at Nick Chickenzie. So just Nick Chicken with Z I E. And then uh, Instagram will be Mackenzie Milton underscore. Well, thanks very much for talking to us, man. I'm excited to have you here. I can't wait till you get on campus and. Uh... We can see what you can do. It's we're extremely excited to have Coach Frost here, and uh, you know yeah. it's going to be a really exciting brand of football. You know UCF has been exciting over the years, but this is going to be a whole new thing for everybody. So we're all excited yeah, for it. Yeah, I'm really it. excited as well. It's going to be it's going to be um, it's going to be a good good thing coming. So I'm excited as well. There are so many ways to connect with the UCF Nightline Podcast. Check out our website at ucfnightlinepodcast.com for recruit spotlights, archived episodes, and more. You can like us on Facebook at Nightline Podcast. Talk with us on Twitter at UCF underscore Nightline. Listen whenever and wherever you are on YouTube, SoundCloud, Stitcher, iTunes, or tune in. Call us with your questions or comments at 407-205-7427. Go Knights! Charge on!